Hi, I'm Clay Carlino. Today, my good friend and a fan of this channel, Nathan Fillion. Hi, Nate. Nathan sent me a message and he showed me that Tesla just came out with a new truck. And I looked online and it's very, very interesting looking. And I can talk about that in a little bit. But he said that I need to watch the unveiling video. And I haven't watched it yet, but he said that I should put it online with my reactions in real time as I'm watching the video. So I've got a video here. I hope it's the right one. Uh, there were some, ow, it poked me in the side of the head. Uh, there were some that were like 20 minutes long and uh, this one's like five minutes long. So I'm gonna start this video and then um, I guess we're going to see what's so interesting about Tesla's new truck. So I go here and I press this button. Trucks have been the same for a very long time. We need something different. We, and we need, we've we got need Elon energy. Musk. Now. So I and the okay, they've edited. And they've got a light show. Oh, Cybertruck. It reminds me a lot of a DeLorean. Or that no thing like from uh, from Aliens, that transporter. So, okay, we've got... We, we've got him talking. Um, you know, this thing does look like I imagined futuristic uh, vehicles to look when I was a kid. Um, not sure if the design aesthetic really works today, but uh, it's bold. I'll, I'll give them that. Um, he's, he's talking. Uh, we've got a good shot of headlights. So, we've got, okay, oh, okay, you know, hit that with a sledgehammer, um, <laughs> wow, okay, huh, are they going to shoot it? <laughs> We're in California, unfortunately. <laughs> the nine millimeter, it's, it is it is literally bulletproof to a nine millimeter uh, handgun. That's how strong the skin is. Wow. So, okay. You know, um, you can so, shoot it apparently. That's interesting. What about the glass? It's like a vulnerability. Okay, so we. Transparent metal glass. Well, let's, let's 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 show some of the tests. Let's. Uh, what can we do with this? Glass. Shatters immediately. Okay. Tesla on my glass. Yeah. Okay, we've got guy up on a. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Franz, can you try to break this glass, please? Okay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> So I, I guess he's just going to carry on. Um, good on him. Uh, I, I think I've seen the part that Nate wanted me to see at this point. So I'm going to just stop that right here. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> you know, that's it sort of reminds me of when Bill Gates was unveiling one of the new versions of Windows and he immediately got the blue screen of death. Uh, I think that was Windows 98? Yeah, us old people, we remember back in those times. So, uh, let me get rid of that because it's a little distracting. Uh, I can just go like blip. 
and I can hit blip and oh oh that's great you know not keep hitting my head on that video see that's a little video humor because it's not really there there's none there it's just air so okay um well that that was fun uh you know kudos to them because you know that they weren't faking the sledgehammer and they weren't faking the steel balls being thrown at it but obviously it couldn't take quite what they thought it could take um i'm sure that there's probably some discussions going on as we speak about that the uh so the thing is stainless steel and it's bulletproof and super tough and uh, has a kind of a retro futuristic design and uh, and i like all of that uh, also the price starts out supposedly at just under forty thousand dollars which is right on par with a new truck that you'd buy today so very competitive uh, if I were thinking of buying a new truck, uh, if I was willing to pay that kind of money for a vehicle, which <laughs> we know that I'm not, but still, if I were, um, that would be a serious consideration. And uh, and kudos to Tesla for uh, for really uh, making a serious stab at at changing the way that we think about vehicles. And certainly uh, electric stuff is impressive. I mean, you know, the, uh, the pickup, the power, it's, uh, it, and it's only getting better. Stainless steel is an interesting choice. Uh, uh, probably the most famous stainless steel vehicle before this one was the DeLorean, which was used in Back to the Future. Everybody loves the DeLorean. But uh, the DeLorean was one of those cars that was amazing to look at but not necessarily so amazing to own it uh one of the big problems was that you can't do body work on it like if that truck does get a dent then you can't fiberglass it and paint over it because they just have bare metal there so what you'd probably end up having to do is replace the entire panel or maybe you could weld on a, a patch and then uh, grind it down and it probably wouldn't look too bad um, but uh, it would be hard not to see it now granted they made it so tough that it is unlikely to to take on a ding but um but yeah, these are just some, some considerations. Now, obviously the DeLorean, the stainless steel of that was not bulletproof. It would take damage just like any other vehicle, except that if when it did, you, you had a problem. Uh, I would think it'd be heavy, but then again, you've got some powerful electric motors that are propelling that thing. So, so the weight may not be a big issue. Uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. I, I'm not 100% sold that it's it's ready, but um, you know, is anything ever ready until you get it out there and have people using it and telling you what they like and what they don't like? Um, I I do have to give a shout out to Simone Yetz. Uh, am I saying that right? Yetz? Because it's spelled Gertz, but um, I, I, I think it's pronounced Yetz. But uh, Simone got a Tesla 3 and turned it into a pickup truck, which was amazing. So I love you, Simone. Uh, and I feel like this truck is actually just a response to Simone's video and uh, and her saying that this had to be done. Elon Musk was like, Oh crap. Well, if if this girl is doing it, then I guess we have to do it, except we better uh we better make it bigger and more trucky. So, well, that was something. Um 
the moral of the story is don't throw steel balls at your new truck. This is Clay Carlino telling you to be brave unless you're thinking about throwing steel balls at your vehicle, in which case don't be brave. Just don't do that. It's a bad idea, especially in front of an audience full of people that are watching to see if your truck takes damage. And it does.